Let's not talk speculation. Let's talk speculation. In the last purely speculation video that we did about that Detroit News article, dropping details about the 6th and the location for Juggalo Weekend 2024, I missed a very important detail about the 6th Joker's card. A new album is on the horizon, it's first since 2021's Yum Yum Bedlam, and it's first with producer Mike E. Clark since 2012's The Mighty Death Pop. Clark is the chief architect of the group's classic sound, the instrumental cornerstone of the demented circus known in ICP lore as The Dark Carnival. That's right, Mikey Clark producing the sixth Joker's card of the second deck. But can this journalism be trusted? I picked up on some discrepancies and weirdness when we read the article on Humble Among Broadcast System number 110. They seem to be written in a style that implies that they were interviewed together, but I don't know. There also seem to be some small errors that I noticed, like this if I are your brains botch, and this thing about Jay breaking his collarbone. One article saying it happened at a concert, the other saying it was a wrestling match. Granted, Jay was performing his finish maneuver the moon glorious salt a name that i just came up with right now into the crowd when he was injured so maybe the reporter sort of misheard or misremembered that uh, little detail anyway i digress i think maybe the interviews occurred at the same time for both papers both articles end with this shaggy two dope growing old and robotic joke and it was pointed out to me in the chat of Habs 110 that Shaggy Tudope had addressed this earlier in the day on the Shaggy show and specifically questioned the location of Peoria Illinois for Juggalo Weekend 2024 Brutalis tries to bring it up early in the show as the chat seems to be asking questions alright uh, someone, so uh, huh? someone uh, real quick asked if you saw the Detroit news article yeah. I'm not sure if that's different than the one that the Metro no I didn't I don't Okay. I don't usually what look read. I did it, so I don't need to. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, <laughs> I know that. Well, I don't know if that he was talking about that one because that's the newest one that I know of, or if this is a whole different one. Well, yeah, you do you you do press for shows, you know. So we do the little Detroit papers or whatnot. Yeah. <clears throat> he does allude to doing press for Detroit papers here, but Shaggy brushes it off until Manny brings it up again later in the show. Hey, brother, I got uh something that, from the chat because I know you would know because you you do you, what happened. You answer all the questions regarding this stuff like this. What? They put in there, uh, Juggalo Juice Box. So I read Juggalo Day is in Peoria, Illinois this time. Born and raised in Chicago. Y'all do realize it's going to be Where'd you read that? Ice. Exactly. And then, Where'd uh, you read that? Where'd you read that, Juggalo Juice Box? We want to know. Yeah. Just... And he says, why did you change it from warmer weather locations? Again, his his reply is, where did you read Yeah, I'd like, to, I'd like to see where you read that at. My yes. friend. In that newest article. In the newest in that newest article. Meaning the Detroit News article. Oh, well, I know I know I'm not gonna front <laughs> that was brought up and I shut I was like, no, it's too cold. Too cold. But uh yeah, it's in Discord. I don't know what the fuck anybody's talking about, man. I'm gonna have to look at this article. Jesus. Obviously there's a lot of shit popping off that I don't know about that that can't be true because I don't know about. Shaggy does mention it was brought up as an option, but he said no due to the weather. And he also admits there's a lot of stuff going on that he does not know about. So maybe the location is legit, maybe it's not. All speculation until we get an official announcement, I guess. Not sure if we can trust this journalism though. Brutalis brings the article up again, and Shaggy questions the quality of the journalism. Also, I looked at the article. The first thing that they mention is the Drake jersey thing. What? In the first paragraph is they talk about Drake in the jersey. Oh, good. Not everything else. It's, I guess. I it's hollow wicked, but the first thing you bring up is Drake in a jersey. Yeah. Well, that's 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 grade A journalism. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and then they talk about Post Malone right after. Ah, the real, the real ish, the real fucking issues. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not the 30th anniversary or nothing. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I see where they got it in Discord, but I didn't click on it, man. You know what I'm saying? They do got it. Somebody did like repost oh, it in. Whatever. Discord. I don't give a fuck. I'll, I'll, I will investigate. Don't worry, folks. Shaggy Two Dope is on the case. Broody tries to bring it up again, but Shaggy reminds him that he will investigate. So get your Google fingers ready, Justin. Ooh. What do you? I'm already there. Oh, okay. I was just trying to look for to see where they saw the... Okay, well, stop, because I don't care. Okay. I said, I will investigate. Oh, all right. So how legit is the journalism of the Detroit News? Will we get the six produced by Mikey Clark in Peoria, Illinois for Juggalo Weekend 2024? Let me know what you think in the comments. We'll talk about this, Renee's hunky dude phone book, and a whole lot more on Humble Among Broadcast System number 111, coming real soon. Make sure you hit the like gimmick, the subscribe gimmick. I love y'all. Whoop, whoop. Have a good night. What is truth but purely speculation any fuck away?